On my order. Hey guys, this is Koki38, and I'm back with an with another Rome Total War online battle. This time it is a Seleucid versus Greek city state battle. It's over that. I, I totally forgot, so I had to look at the colour of their border to have an intelligent guess. Um, I am the Seleucid. Um, my army consists of five units of phalanx pikemen, who are the um, I'll, I'll have to call them the I'll have to call them the, uh, the medium pikemen of Seleucid of um, the Seleucids. Uh, three units of archers deployed in in a line behind. Two two units of levy pikemen, just because I had spare denarii. Two units of ca of cataphats, that's super heavy cavalry, and two units of Greek cavalry, which are light horsemen, which I we, which I was planning to use to, to run down any missile units. My opponent, uh, I, 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 I can't pronounce it. Um, Isaac Riffa, or something like that, roughly. <laughs> That's roughly how I pronounce it. Um, he's playing as a Greek city state. He has taken six units of Spartan Hoplites. The general unit is fully upgraded. You know, in the middle of the battle, I didn't even notice that. Um, and he's also taken one unit of, of militia hoplite, presumably because he had a bit of spare denarii. As you can, as you can, t as you can tell, he's taken no cavalry and no missile units, so I have the advantage of that. Seeing, seeing this, I immediately set, I immediately set my archers to, to skirmish mode and run, and run one unit down, down each wing. In response, in response, my, my opponent put, pulls one Spartan hoplite unit and one militia hoplite unit back, back, to, back to, to, to prevent um, a screen against any sort of flank movements, and he moves his general unit up to, um, with the intention of covering the, covering the, the rear of his um, formation. He's basically forming more or less a noob circle. See, seeing this, I order these archers to, to target these Spartans in the back. And I order these archers to start targeting these battle flights. I then rush up the, I then rush up my third unit from the front, and order them, and order them to target the unit on the, on um, on the Spartan riders from the flank. But 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 then but then after I see their general unit turned around, I switch targets. Meanwhile, the rest of my army is just standing here. Historically, this was the weakness of the Spartan army. This is this is basically more like, more like a historical Spartan army. Uh, the Spartans would the Spartans are the best things, and they have s some random Greek allies who would just be there just for show. And we, um, seeing that he's going to, seeing that 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 he's going to going to be um, slaughtered if he stands there, my opponent decides his decides to to advance his Spartans and militia hoplites forward, or keeping his general units standing there. See, seeing this, I ordered that arch unit to, tar to target the, um, the general. Meanwhile, meanwhile, on, on this flank, one of my I've rushed my levy pikemen down both, both flanks to refuse it. On this flank, I've engaged the Spartans. I have little hope of winning. And on this flank, the militia hoplites are trying to get my Greek cavalry, but, but my, um, my levy pikemen stop them. Back over this side, this Spartan unit has just been charged by, by, charged by one, unit, one of my units of cataphracts and has been routed. Meanwhile, the general unit is trying to get back into the fight. <laughs> seeing that, seeing that flank collapse, I, I then order, I, I then start, I then start ordering my men forward. At the same time, my opponent orders his men forward. So instead of getting a proper outflank with, with this with this flank's pikemen unit, I just leave it. I, I just leave it to gag the response. At about this time, my opponent decides that he's had enough, and he completely gives up. Now, now if you're playing online, you shouldn't do that. You should, you should see the battle through, or if you've really had enough, admit defeat. I think, I think it was right here where, where my opponent admitted defeat. Right. So this situation is going to be the general unit with, with, with those, with those upgrades and attack and defense upgrades coming in, to come in and get broken almost immediately. Now that's their best unit that's just routed. And and seeing that and seeing the general unit route, the rest of the Spartans the fall off. Is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it is beyond belief. Yeah. Um the, there are a few Spartans fighting to the death there. 
they, ha they have no hope of winning this fight. And that's their death. The enemy are utterly beaten. This is a crushing victory worthy of a great general. Oh yeah, thank you for saying I'm a great general. Love statistics, I deployed 1,297 men. I killed 518 of my opponent's troops and I had 1,153 men remaining. My opponent deployed 561 men, killed 159 of my men, and had 43 men remaining. This battle is a perfect example of why of why a combined arms effort of infantry of infantry missile troops and cavalry are better than just infantry alone. And it's also and also shows how uh, how much of an advantage you have if your opponent lets you take the initiative and advance forward and and fight the battle how he wants. You know, because my opponent just stood there for for, for about for about half a minute, it allowed my it allowed me to, to maneuver into positions I wanted, and decide how I was going to fight this battle when I go into hand to hand combat. Anyway, anyway, good game for my opponent. Uh, if my opponent is watching this, don't just leave a game. If you're okay, if you don't think you can win, just admit defeat. Alright, uh, Mr. Bean Cook of the Chape, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.